I recently read the book Spark by author John Rady in Naperville, Illinois. A morning literacy class split high school students into two groups. One group had gym class right before the literacy class and therefore the other group was allowed to sleep in during the morning gym class. The students strapped on a heart rate monitor to their chests and kept their heart rates elevated between 160 and 190 beats per minute by running round the school track. Initially the Naperville students found these morning exercises annoying the girls complained about about being smelly and gross but soon the scholars felt their energy rise and that they saw their test scores increase the scholars who took part within the morning gym class showed a 70 percent improvement in reading and comprehension compared to a 10.7 percent improvement for students who slept in each morning author and drive John Rady says there's a new stereotype emerging in schools around America. The smart jock Rady has studied the effect that exercise features learning for over a decade. He has discovered that students who exercise before studying consistently outperform their non-active counterparts if they study the identical amount of your time. Rady has also discovered that the mental benefits of exercise extend beyond school children. A 2007 study showed that when a gaggle of adults learned a series of new vocabulary words before and after exercising they were ready to recall words 20% faster after the exercise. Another 2007 study revealed that adults between the ages of 50 and 64 who completed one 35-minute treadmill session with a sustained pulse of 70% of their maximum pulse had increased cognitive abilities. They were able to come up with more alternative uses for common objects than the individuals who simply watched a movie when asked for an alternate use for a newspaper they'd enough cognitive flexibility to come up with answers like wrapping fish lining a birdcage or packing dishes the science conclusively shows that exercise doesn't just result in a stronger body it also ends up in a far better brain author john rady calls exercise miracle grow for the brain once we exercise our bodies generate an outsized amount of a protein called brain derived neurotropic factor bdnf for brief within the 1990s scientists found that once they sprinkled bdnf on on brain cells preserved in a petri dish those brain cells rather new branches and produce the identical structural growth required for learning in a sense bdnf is like miracle growth for the brain it nourishes neuron growth like a fertilizer nourishes and supports plant growth drive John Rady says BDNF gathers in reserved pools round the synapses within the brain and is unleashed when we get our blood pumping. It's exercise that sparks the discharge of BDNF and heightens our learning and creativity. There is a good reason why our bodies are programmed to try and do this. Thousands of years ago before the bow and arrow was invented individuals survived by literally running down animals to death. Scientists call this persistence hunting because folks have superior running endurance. We could chase an animal like an antelope until it died from exhaustion although we human beings can run far we won't run very fast compared to other mammals so when our early ancestors would attempt to run down an antelope the antelope would often sprint ahead and out of sight in those moments we'd must pause quickly study the environment and predict which way the antelope went during a sense we wanted the flexibility to be told fast and solve problems quickly between periods of exercise without this ability we wouldn't get to eat the following day in the 21st century we do not have to predict which way the antelope went but we do must predict the proper answer on an exam or the correct solution to a critical problem at work so what's the most effective thanks to get a dose of bdnf and upgrade our brains what is the least amount of exercise we are able to do for the largest mental gains within the book author john rady conclude that 20 to 30 minutes of aerobic exercise like running swimming or biking at a pace that you simply can maintain for an hour or feel fairly hard enough to release an oversized amount of BDNF. The sensation of difficulty somewhat appears like a vague instruction, but a kinesiologist at Iowa State University has shown it is the most reliable marker for the boundaries of the aerobic vital sign zone you see. When exercise outruns feeling somewhat stubborn as you enter the anaerobic rate zone the longer you spend within the anaerobic pulse rate zone. The longer you may need between exercise to recover and therefore the more often you'll be able to reap the amazing learning and problem-solving benefits of exercise. After reading Spark, I've made exercise a staple of my daily productivity routine before reading the replacement book I'm going bent do a dose of BDNF to enhance my reading comprehension before designing a replacement video. I'm going swimming to extend my creativity and produce valuable content for my fans. John Ratty has also concluded that if we wanted from the advantages of exercise, 
we must confirm our exercise happens right before we'd like to figure after a year of studying an elementary literacy student in Naperville. Naperville High School conducted an analogous study but scheduled a literacy class six hours after students rehearsing. The varsity found that students who took literacy classes post-exercise had significantly better than people who had a six-hour gap between exercise and study time after finding guidance counselors in Naperville immediately after gym class. They suggest that every one student schedule their toughest subjects to require advantage of. Therefore, if you're hoping to use exercise to extend your productivity, you must jog before engaged on a vital project if you're a student and need to form the foremost of your study time, head to ride a motorcycle, for 20 minutes, then sit at your desk and begin studying if you're employed in an office and have a day brainstorming session. Along with your team, mount the elliptical machine for 20 minutes at lunch at the tip author John Ratty says exercise provides unparalleled stimulation that makes an environment within which the brain is prepared and ready to learn aerobic activity is an imperative tool for anyone desperate to reach their full potential. Is that the main message I gathered from the book? The book provides a good deal of research to support the claim that exercise can significantly improve your cognitive abilities I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.